Lafayette junior Neil Quinn has reached double figures in now 16 consecutive games. Turns out he was gunning for his 17th on Saturday against rival Lehigh. In the first half, the Leopards had the upper hand, forcing eight turnovers, which translated into 18 points. Quinn had a 13-point first half as Lafayette was on a six-point run into the break. The maroon and white would keep the momentum into the second half, extending its lead to 15 on two different occasions. Three Leopards scored in double figures. One was Quinn and the others Tyrone Perry and Leo O'Boyle. O'Boyle draining a three to push that lead to 16 with just over 16 left to play. Lehigh wakes up and causes chaos going on a 22 to 6 run over the next seven minutes. Jake Betlow had nine points in the stretch as the Mountain Hawks were just on fire from the outside. They come all the way back and tie this one at 55 apiece. Back and forth we go until the very bitter for one team end. Kyle Jenkins puts an exclamation point on his efforts with a near 30 foot three pointer. That shot put Lafayette in the lead for good. They narrowly win the battle with Lehigh 73 to 69 the final. We had to keep sure we kept running our offense. We needed to put the ball in the hole because they weren't they weren't going to stop shooting threes and making them. So we had to get our stops when we needed to and we had to make shots. Ty came in clutch on the free throw line. Kyle hit a 40 footer. It's just a typical day at Lafayette basketball. Uh, the difference is getting stops. You know, our team, we, we take pride in, in getting stops and, and in, in practice we elaborate on getting stops. So it came down to uh, one possession and, and we needed to stop and that's what we did. It was a typical Lafayette Lehigh game. It was uh, even when, when you're up, you don't feel comfortable. You know that they're going to make a run. It's a game of runs. And uh, they made a great run and uh, and they're raining threes. Uh, it's one of the better three-point shooting teams in the, in the conference. So even though we did a good job defensively in the first half, you knew that there's going to be a breakout. At Stabler Arena, I'm Gwen Begley for the Service Electric Network.